Well, there's another day without matches. Uh, feels unusual to have not any games in the evening. But yeah, it also gives more time for other things. So I guess it's a good thing. And this is now the rhythm that we have. Two games, two days of games and then uh, two days off. And soon it is all over. We have a bit more than a week to go. But yeah, uh, interesting Jersey matchups. Um, that we had and I want to look at it uh, right now. I also want to look ahead at the Jersey matchups that are about to come in the quarterfinal. Uh, as you may have realized, I only got one Jersey wrong for the round of 16. Quarterfinals are a little bit more tricky to be honest with you. Uh, there are a few matchups in there where I am not quite shaky, but I'm trying to put as much thought in them as I did for the round of 16. Also, thanks to Classic Football Shirts, I finally got my Croatia jersey that I really want to have. And this is what I want the Croatia jersey to look like. This kind of royal blue and have the jacket pattern showing up somewhere. We won't see it at this World Cup though. And maybe they will win, e win it all even. And that's why I needed to get one for sure. And yeah. So, let's have a look at the jersey matches of the round of 16. And look forward to the possible jersey matchups in the quarterfinals. And also let's look a little bit about the performance graphs for the quarterfinal teams, uh, how things should check out. So this is my official preview. I had yesterday an unscripted one. Now we have made an official preview of the quarterfinals of this year's World Cup. So let's have a look. Back on my blog for this review of everything my soccer universe for round two uh, which basically means we look at the jersey matches we look a little bit at probabilities and then we'll do the same thing looking ahead so in kazan and i need to put the link to my videos here uh we'll do that uh, very soon we had france against argentina best matchup of round two um we also had the favorite was winning um so four three Everything went as predicted. Uruguay, Portugal. Again, I thought that Portugal might go with red, but I uh, was more certain that they will go with white. Therefore, the uh, matchup was right. Again, favor. Uh, no, here was an underdog win. So uh, Uruguay was an un underdog, but they won, and the way they won was actually quite impressive. Um, Spain, Russia, as expected, as I said in my preview video. I saw a slight chance that Russia will play in red because they are the hosts and it might have been their last game, but no, they went straight with uh, Spain is the, being the home team and this was the biggest upset. I am actually working at the moment of making an upset index and um, not only have the probabilities here, but really make a measure of uh, what big of an upset uh, this particular game was. So uh, stay tuned on that. I might have this in time for the semi-finals, you know. My head is continuously working on how we can improve things. And that's one thing. Yes, it is clear here that the outsider won on P is for penalties. And the draw was the second most likely result after uh, 90 minutes. But still, Spain was so heavily favored. So, yeah. Got that match up right. And then this was the first one where I thought a little bit about it. But then it was clear that Croatia just has to play in the dark ones. Because anything clashes with Denmark. And then Denmark will go with the away jersey. So that was in the end also clear. And yes, we also have here that the favorite went through. But the result uh, with being a draw was a little bit more surprising. On to the second set of games. I was so happy Brazil played Mexico. Uh, the way they did again, um, they threw me a curveball four years ago when Mexico suddenly played in orange against Brazil. Now we had them in green and it looked that much better. Um, total favorite results, so Brazil through uh, and also in regulation. Same thing can be said for Belgium, but here there's my only error. I really thought that Japan will play in white. Um, yes, it was the two dark jerseys against each other, but it looked wonderful. I did not. I really did not expect that one, uh, but I didn't mind this one, and I hope we see more of these. As I call it, color versus color. If there's a white jersey, no, take the two color jerseys. They are uh, there's sufficient contrast between those two. It might not be the same contrast if we would look on a black and white screen, but uh, the way it looked now was just wonderful. 
And then we have Sweden, Switzerland, exactly as uh, prognosed again, about Sweden, the outsider one in this case. I, again, I thought that Switzerland could play in the white, but no, I was happy to see them playing yellow versus red. We had the blue pens here, we had the white pens here, it was a wonderful matchup. Um, England, Colombia was similar in jerseys, yellow versus red, but we had the white pens here, which I didn't like as much. Blue pens here white here and that merch match is perfect if they take they could have really played in the same colors here but yeah the all red look for England is not exactly my most favorite but it was clear that this has to go down in that uh, this, this way that we have Colombia in yellow and with white and then the all red England with the favorite going through again P for penalties so yeah uh, that's my review I'm actually quite happy with the George Jersey matchups, even the one that I got wrong. I think it's the better matchup. So I'm very happy about that. That makes it made all the sense in, in the world. Yes, if Croatia would have something different, that would have been even better. But other than that, uh, no complaints for me. And maybe if we saw the blue versus red with Belgium and uh, Japan, we could have probably seen a red one here. Might not have been. A mistake I think but again I thought that the red for Portugal was maybe a little bit too dark so let's look at the final stage and quarterfinal and this is now a quarterfinal and semifinal and final those will all be now the same page uh, so we can get right to it I have France versus Uruguay I don't see it in any other way than France playing in the dark jerseys and Uruguay in white I think this is the thing that makes most sense and France is actually quite I wouldn't want to say heavily favored, but they are a good favorite in this matchup. Same thing as Brazil versus, versus Belgium, and here it's actually quite simple. I was considering for a short second that maybe Belgium could play in the alternate, but then I remember that the alternate is yellow. Yellow against yellow wouldn't work. Now, what could work though is if Brazil plays in entire blue set or blue and white, and Belgium plays in yellow, but I still think that this is the matchup might be not as high contrast as the blue versus uh, the yellow otherwise, but I think this is the matchup they will go for, and I really hope so. But that's why I have only 90% here. Uh, also, Brazil is even more heavy favorite uh, against Belgium than France against Uruguay. Uh, looking over the numbers, France against Uruguay, France is the least favorite uh, favorite. That's a weird construction, but yeah. The least favorite favorite in this whole set of four games. Sweden versus England, I don't see it any other way. Um, Sweden is the home team, so they will play in yellow and blue, and, and England will probably play in all red. I hope that maybe it will be red with white pants. I like that look a little bit better than the all red. Uh, but we shall see at the moment. If they, I, I know it's not a problem to produce different color shirts for a single game, but yeah, if it was... was um, Red with white, I would prefer a lot more. Would be a really nice matchup color wise then. And then lastly, the one that I was most agonizing about. Again, Russia has a white one and a red one. So it's either one of those two. But since Russia is the home team, I think they will play in their red. And then Croatia will play in the all in, in the black navy uh, kit. Yes, we will see it maybe more often than I wanted to, but um, that's the matchup I can see. I can, of course, also see that uh, they look at the two possible jersey matchups and say, well, the only way that Croatia can go is the black, and maybe let's go for the higher contrast in the white Russian jersey. But I really, 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 really think that Russia will play in red. But that's the one where I see myself... Um, that's the, I'm most likely to be wrong, and that's why there's 60% here. Well... Let me know what you think, how these teams will match up. Um, let's quickly look at the favorites. It really goes... Uh, the first match is the most even and it gets more lopsided the more we uh, go on. And uh, the, the most lopsided game, at least from numbers, is Croatia versus Russia. Yeah, so um, the last matchup. Probably even the least... Uh, how to say? The least appealing one of those four. But yeah, it could be very well a very interesting one uh, played in Sochi. So let me know what you think the jersey matchup will be, uh, whether you agree with the numbers, uh, 
giving the favorites uh, how you would rate it slightly differently. And I guess tomorrow, unless I come up with some other idea, I'll talk to you after the first quarter final. Up until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.